<laughs> oh my god, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, wait, what? <laughs> bro, Green Eastern? Wait, Red Eastern? Green, oh, Green Valenti's oh, work hard, though. Oh, she's a buffer? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at our work. Okay, I should probably skip ahead now. I was behind. Oh, this depletes one ultimate gauge, right? Uh, 450? Yeah, so she depletes ultimate gauge. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, red character as well. Not sure what that does. Okay, it's here in game. Oh my god, bro. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Bro, I, I, we're not even going green Eastern yet. I'm already getting red one already. I'm done. So at least they're doing Valenti again with uh, Eastern. Okay, so yeah, deplete ultimate gauge. Oh, I like that. That's kind of like a high school DXD a bit. A little bit, a little bit of Merlin too. Okay, what's the second skill though? Oh, that's sick. Oh, she puts buffs on. A debuff mini and defense. Why would you want that? Oh, wait, did, did it increase her all level as well? Does it give you orbs? No, it looks like it's probably just a defense character. Which, to be fair, still not bad, though. To get down to tier 3, you can control defense. That's actually quite good. I mean, it's going to be actually quite fun to use this character. I mean, depending on what passive is, the passive might be good, too. I think there's some live translations for it. Okay, so the translations are, if your ally is a disaster character, per disaster hero, reduce the damage received by 6%. Wow, so you're actually going to run a full... Oh, look at the hair! Oh my god, look at the hair! So, we literally, you're going to be running a full team in disaster now. I don't mind that, actually. I don't mind that. Uh, silver card, okay. So, it applies a D... Yeah, so it just increases the defense. Okay, bro, you're actually going to be a proper tanky with this hero. Okay, I think they're going over the costumes now, apparently. I'm behind. And we even got this shit on global. Still probably would prefer her swim... Okay, no, that's... Oh... That's a new one. Okay, let's go to Valenti now. Oh, new hair? There's two new hairs, okay. Oh, I like the short one, though. Yeah, no, I think I'm probably rocking this one, you know? <laughs> what? Oh, my God, look at that animation! Yo! <laughs> why Why are they going all out with Valenti? Wait, Valenti's animation changes, too. This is completely different. Okay, so Valenti's passive will increase her crit damage depending on half of the crit resistance. Oh, uh, okay, so... You want to go full crit resistance then to get a crit damage got, but okay, that's actually not. I don't know if that's too good. Uh, skill one, uh, cut cutting damage to all enemies, which I'm guessing is gonna be like the, what the, uh, a spike card, like AOE spike. Uh, and then the second one is to damage and remove all buffs from enemies, including ultimates. Oh, alright, so this is a debuff skill, so it deals and removes all buffs from enemies. Including ultimates. What's ultimates mean? We have to kind of see that in game first. I'm not too sure what that means. Might be a new skill. Not too bad. And then um, the ultimate, which is different, which is kind of mad. Um, she's probably going to be the best one for this, this banner. Like how uh, Valenti was the best one on the summer one. Where she might be the best one. Even though they both do look kind of good though. But bro, look at the stance, fam. Now I actually want to get some good skins from. I'm kind of upset we didn't get that little cat skin, but... People might just... Oh my god, look at the stance in game. <laughs> what? Is this like a festival you know, son? They completely changed the character. Oh my god. Okay, let's see the animation. Oh my god. Do you know how much damage that's going to do, fam? Yo. <laughs> okay. That's AoE, I'm pretty sure. That's AoE. Are you mad? That's going to do so much damage. Okay. And the other skill? That's a new buff, debuff, right? Wait, why did she buff herself? Oh, she yeah, she buffs herself for the damage. Oh, she buffs it when she uses it. What? Oh, that's a, that's a thumbnail. Yo, it's like a spirit bomb. What? <laughs> wow. So she buffs her defense and damage. Wait, what did she do again? 
increases damage dealt by 50% for free turn and reduces all damage received by 50% on all enemies. So she buffs herself though. But still, I'll use this to tier 3 afterwards. It's finished. Oh, wait. What's that chill out for? What the hell? Oh. It's not bad. I like it. Okay. Oh, this is basically a, this is a new hero. Yeah, so it's like Awaken Lilia then. It's not even... Uh... Yeah, it's basically Awaken Lilia. So it's a full and different hero. So all the Valenti costumes you're going to get in the past, you're not going to have them more. Okay. Uh, I don't like that one too much. I'm probably using that little brown one. Oh, that one's sick. I wonder if she's festival. I don't think so. Oh. Okay, it's like Transformers. Uh, to be fair, I'll probably use the first one. Yeah, my, my go-to would be the first one. Yeah, look, it's the MK2. So what, Valentin Mark 11? Mark 2? Two, two? Oh, headpiece is going sick. Oh, wait, Laura's Peach Car? No way, what? I'm definitely rocking that. What the hell? Yeah, bro, what the hell? And that was a good one too. Decent hair, it's not too bad. Okay, that's not bad. If the, I don't know. I don't I don't like the glasses. Eh, I mean, yeah, I, honestly, I'm rocking the first one. That's basically Glory Peach from Black Over. I'm, I'm loving it. All right, boys, to wrap it up, we're going to watch the, I guess, the gameplay trailer. What is it? What is it? It's a trailer, like, actual review of what this team can do. And it's actually kind of good that they're going against an actual Eskimo team. Eh? So I'm kind of see. Oh, we got a merger. Okay, you can't upgrade, though, because you got to use a full team. But a tier two, can it kill? Eskino starts first. Okay, she is green, so she's going to be a proper Eskino killer if Assault Midi wasn't already won. And Elizabeth too? Like, this, this is going to wreck. Bro, look at the way she stands in game. That's so sick. Okay, so I'm guessing what they're going to do is... What? Okay, debuff here. Okay, he's merging. And I would, I would upgrade it with Eason, right? Yeah, I can't really tell what that debuff does. Less damage? I don't know. Okay, stun so you can't upgrade now. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't debuff when you got that thing? Is that what the thing is? Is that what the debuff is? So why you have that AOE debuff on? You can't debuff people. You can't stun. Wait, what? That's broken. What is this Valenti fam? It looks like just gonna get a gold card. Yeah, we will see here actually. We'll see here. So go over Shimba to debuff, right? No, I'm not wrong. She didn't have debuff mini on, but you still can stun. What the hell? I mean, you got debuff me now, but normally it comes up saying debuff immunity, like little text text thing, right? Wait, you can't put a shield up either. <laughs> Wait, what? This is this is broken. This is actually broken. So you can't debuff and you can't buff. Like you can you can use the skills, but it, they won't be applied. That is mad, you know. That is mad. Like, the skill is broken, so she has AoE, or what, se uh, severe, so basically what Saru has, where it does three times crit chance, and then also, you can disable buffs and debuff skills, not disable them, but, like, not apply them, on a tier one, AoE. Boys, this is mad. I'm after summon, nah, I'm definitely summoning for this. She got the Laura Peach girl glasses too, I'm gassed, boys, I'm gassed. I can't wait. And look at the damage reduction, it's nothing. Wait, did she not even stun? Am I just stupid? And I go back. Now, I'm pretty sure I was a tier 2 stun. Alright, so uh, the translations are out, we're going to go over it now. Um, for some reason, on the J JP version right now, the whole like animation for the cards is switched around. So you can see at the bottom right right now, that skill there, you see on screen when I put the screenshot on now, right now, you can see it's the purple debuff. For some reason, JP had... Um, the card switched around, which is why I'm not going to showcase the full gameplay. Uh, but boys, let's go over the, the whole update, or I guess the whole new, um, what's it, the new the character. So, uh, this is the character's passive. At the start of the battle, increase the hero's penetration and crit damage by equal, or penetration as well, so what, uh, pace rate. 
uh, equal to half of her crit resistance. So she is going to be very, very OP. Um, to have crit resistance rolls on a character, a set character gear, is uh, going to be very good because you can't be crit, which is like, it's mad. Like, uh, Eskilo's not going to be the killer. And if she's doing double, well, not double, but a lot more crit damage and penetration, it's, it's a sick passive. It's, she can be broken. Uh, her first skill is to do um, three times severe damage onto all enemies. Basically, Sariel. Sariel does have a high crit chance. I don't think her crit chance is too high. Uh, what does Shun right now? I think it's probably an ungeared, so the passive isn't really working. Like, she's not going to be that good in ungeared because you can't increase your pierce rate or not your, your crit resistance, if that makes sense. So, in ungeared, she's been godly. Uh, with Sariel, still probably going to be a little better in, um, in ungeared because you can actually crit. Uh, and the second skill is a new card. Um, there's formative damage onto a single target enemy. Oh, single target enemy. Yeah, bro. The the JP version had something weird going on. It was it's it's I don't know what was going on there. Um and blocks all skills and ultimate effects. Exclude start skills and recovery skills. So what what is JP doing? This is not what this what was shown. So it blocks all skills and ultimate uh, special effects. So um oh no, it makes sense. Wow, that's actually broken. So if someone has uh, you know, like um for example, uh, severe. He, she will block that. Like, like Elizabeth Shield, she'll block that skill effect. If that's, if that's what I'm, I'm getting from it. So if it's like ignore defense, it won't ignore it. I'm not too sure. Uh, and ultimate skill effects. So like for example, uh, Medios Lost Vein does a special technique where he does more damage depending on how much cards he does have, and he ignores as um. He ignores his uh the color of each character. So if you block that, that's broken. Like, actually, though, this is mad broken. It's such a broken skill to have. And then as well as ultimate is uh, to increase damage dealt by 500% and reduce the damage to receive by the hero by 50% for three turns and deal with bad damage. This character is broken. What? Why did they do this for Valencia, man? I mean, she looks sick. I don't mind. She got the glasses I want to use. Uh, but boys, that is it for the update today. Uh, I didn't really go over uh, the new Eastern, but she's pretty self-explanatory. Same ultimate, exact same. Uh, she just completes ultimate gauge on a skill one. Um, she increases the defense by 80% and applies debuff immunity for three turns. And then for her passive, she just does, uh, what, 6% more damage damage taken, uh, less damage taken, depending on how many uh, people she does have on her team or uh, original characters. Pretty banging update, boys. I'm Gas for it. Can't wait for the time to global. Thank you guys for watching and peace.